Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you all are doing well. And today we are going to solve the last lab from HTTP host header attacks. And today we are gonna see password reset poisoning via dangling markup. In this lab, uh, this lab basically vulnerable to password reset poisoning via dangling markup. And to solve the lab, we need to log in with the Carlos account. And we can log into our own account using these credentials. And any email sent to this account can be read via the email client on the exploit server. Uh, I will record one separate video on exploit server because I got many queries about the exploit server and uh, it seems like people are confused about the exploit server. So this week I will record that lab also for the exploit server. There is a hint and it's saying some antivirus software scans link in email to identify whether they are malicious or not. So uh, this is our lab. We already open up uh, this lab. So uh, let's go without wasting time. I'm just going to my account and this is our burp suite and uh, What I'm gonna do is I can log in but because we need to test the password reset functionality So I'm just going to check this link first. So let's go to the forget password and Here what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to put here the username or email address and then submit the request so once we submit the request, you can see, please check your email for details on how to recover your account. Now, this time, uh, the application will send us a link to reset the password or maybe the password, uh, but we need to check that. So we have the email client within the exploit server. So if I click on this email client, you will find here, uh, okay, this one is the previous one because I was checking it out. Uh, but this is the new one so you can see instead of providing us the password reset link it is providing us directly the password so with this password i can now log in uh, with the wiener user okay so this is just a message containing the password there is a link which is saying click here and if you see on the left hand bottom corner it is basically the login page so if i click on it we will be redirected to the login page there is one more uh, feature here that you can see uh, this complete uh, message in the raw format so if I click on view raw you can see the complete message I saw in the raw format and it is uh, with the tags and all okay so back to this email client and let's go and analyze the request here so this is the post request for the forget password and you can see uh, this is pretty normal request that contains uh, two parameters like csrf and username method http method is post and this is the forget password endpoint uh, the response is also pretty normal there is nothing much interesting here and if i take this request to the repeater and go to the repeater uh, let's uh, try to send this request one more time uh, you can see the parameters already there so we should see here one more message with the new password okay you can see this is the new password before we have this password so that's perfectly fine it's working fine now I would like to try if I can change if I can change domain name or not or host okay so uh, let's see, I'm just going to change it as www.example.com Okay, and send the request So once we send the request you can see 504 gateway timeout that means uh, Something is validating that host name. Okay back here. This is the first thing back to the proxy again and let's see um, another request like slash email so this is basically this is the request when we go inside the exploit server and we click on the email client the, this is the exploit server and within the exploit server we have email client so uh, this is slash email uh, the request is pretty normal let's see the response if we see here you can see uh, displaying all emails and all okay subdomains and this is what we have within the email client if we see here you can see sent to from subject body and these all the things we have here now uh, we still 
need to see this message within the body section so you can see uh, there is the body section I think because it is starts with hello yeah this is the body section so it's saying hello please uh, uh, please go to this this is the link and this link basically redirect will take us to the login page nothing else uh, and it's saying click here login with your new password and this is our password okay and at the last it's saying this has been scanned by the McCarthy email security services so that means uh, whatever emails we are getting here these contents are or if any link is there these are scanned by the uh, some some kind of security solutions um, finds and if we scroll down you will see in the last there is a script tag and within that script tag uh, one function is being used which is dom purify dot sanitize so this is basically sanitizing the content and what content it's sanitizing it's sanitizing the dirty data dirty uh, sorry uh, data body and uh, it is getting the attribute data dirty so we need to check out the class first of all which class it's uh, trying to uh, scan or getting here so this is dirty body if i just copy that and paste it in the search you can see this is the class dirty body and within this class the the content for the body section here if you see this is the body section and this is the content for the body section so this content of the body section is defined as the dirty uh, data dirty okay and data dirty contains the content of the message so if we uh, back here you can see uh, it is sanitizing it and after sanitizing we get here this message but one thing is interesting if you click on view raw message okay so you will see here in the raw message there is nothing sanitized okay everything is same as it is in the html format fine so that's interesting and one more thing we need to find out now that how we can manipulate this host header okay so f you first see that we cannot change the host but let's see just a portion of the host let's see if we can just change one portion of the host or not and even that is not allowed okay so let's try something else uh, if i try here let's say port number a a s s d d okay so we put this random string at the place of port number let's see that works or not and send this and you can see this time you get 200 okay and if we go back to our client and we just refresh you can see here the last one starts with suv but now if i refresh it this is changed and new password is generated that means this request works perfectly fine and this is the point where we can insert something fine now one thing to be noticed here if you see this one this seems pretty normal if i hover my cursor now on the click here button you can see there is nothing on the left hand bottom corner if i put my cursor on the previous request there is uh, there is a url you can see in the left hand bottom corner also if i see here you can see uh, this is what we have as the link but let's see there is something changed in this one so i'm again going to view this message and let's see so you can see here what port number we specify it's showing up here rendered here okay so that means we can try to manipulate this html okay so what we are going to do here if you see clearly what we will do 
we will close this single code this single code we will close it here okay after this uh, colon sign we will close with single code and we try to uh, break out of this tag okay and for that purpose what we can try we can try something like uh, put one more anchor tag and we can put href is equal to and then we will try to put our exploit server and this is our exploit server domain so i'm going to copy that back to our burp repeater paste that and what i want to do here is i will try to make everything as the query string everything as the query string okay and we will not close this double quote and we even do not close this anchor tag okay so whatever happened uh, how this one will look like i will tell you so you have better idea now if i put this control c and paste it here now what we basically did here is we put here colon uh, sorry not here we put here colon and then we put single quote so this single quote will close this thing up to here and then it will start over from here and i put a tag and then i put one new anchor with the href and we provide the uh, exploit server exploit dot server let's say dot net okay and i put here slash and question mark and then i do not close this double quote and i do not close this single quote so this single quote will enclose this string okay and it will start over one more anchor tag that will take us to the exploit server and then this question mark basically convert rest of the thing whatever is after that rest of the thing it will be considered as the query string so once any request is made to this exploit server rest of the query string will be logged in our access log on the exploit server fine so let's go without wasting time what i'm going to do is just um send the request fingers cross and you can see 200 okay 200 okay means the uh, password is generated successfully so i'm going back to the email client you can see the last password is hrwu and i'm going to refresh it again and this time you can see we only see hello and please why because hello and please is before this anchor and after that it is enclosed here which have sorry if you see here yeah this is so because hello and please is before this anchor tag then this this one is unclosed and it is completed this up to here and then it is started the new anchor tag so this will go to the email client and as i mentioned before because we mentioned here this question mark that make rest of the string or rest of the content as query string so if we go back to the exploit server and if we go to the access logs we will find here something interesting this one you can see after this question mark everything act as a query string and that string will contain the new password this plus sign is basically the space and this is our genuine password so i'm going to just test whether it is correct or not so i'm going back go to my account and because the username was wiener so this password is for wiener so i just paste it don't save and you can see we logged in as the wiener account now i'm going to log out again and this time i'm going to try for the carlos so 
let's just change the username from Wiener to Carlos and send the request again the payload or the malicious host is same as before and send the request um, invalid CSRF token why so because maybe we need to take the new CSRF token so back to the my account page go to the forget password and here I am going to inspect and click on this sign and click here now you can see this is the new CSRF token just copy that back here to the burp suite and just change this CSRF token paste it now I'm gonna send the request again invalid token is still Uh, session does not contain a CSRF token. Nope. Uh, let's see, view the page source. And within the page source, this is the CSRF token value. Control C and Control V. Send the request again. Again, the bad request. So what I'm going to do here is go to the proxy and let's just try another one by saying Carlos and submit this request or not from Carlos, Wiener is okay because maybe the Carlos click the link and again the CSRF token will be used. So submit here okay and just come back to this request this is the new one send this to the repeater go to the repeater we just need to manipulate this one so i'm going to take this part from here and paste it here okay now send the request oh no come on uh, not a wiener Carlos and you can see 200 okay that means the password is generated for the Carlos now go back to the access log and if Carlos uh, check that out you will see here we get another one this is the uh, request what we did before and we did not change the username from Wiener to Carlos so this was that one but this last one after we change the username Carlos I think this one is going to be the correct one so I'm going to take the password from here just copy that and back to the application and let's say Carlos and paste the password here login so if the password is correct and we logged in into the Carlos, you can see the lab is solved. Uh, so that's it for this lab. Uh, if you like the content, please like, subscribe and share. I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye.